but I'm in the dressing room and I'm getting ready to have the most autumnal day of my life. Nothing in this world brings me more joy than a day of like candle shopping, duvets, I'm gonna come home and make like a stew or a soup later on and just get like really cozy and comfortable. Do my makeup, I've decided to keep my hair in a hair mask today. Kinda need some love, I'm thinking of dyeing it next week i'm so out of breath from running up those stairs oh so i'm thinking of dying it next week i put it on my instagram that i kind of wanted to go like honey blonde um definitely not the platinum that i did in the past but just something a little bit lighter and warmer around my face for the winter time i'm not too sure i always go really dark this time of year and i look insanely pale so i'm trying to like flip it and go lighter and hopefully it will help with my tan fading and like that summer glow and I will just look a little bit more alive, you know? It's just like my uniform at the moment. I really wanna bring out something similar to this but I don't even think I can compare to Skims fit and fabric. Like, it is insanely good, it's a joke. Um, these are sold out in, I'm not too sure what the sizes are left. I'll have a look and I'll leave them in the description but I think, the range of pants are complete. Let me have a look. I think the range of pants are complete sold out. Clips are from, I think they're Amazon. I got like 24 for like two pounds. It was an incredible deal. I'll link them down below. And then I think I'm gonna take this bag. It's by Carolina Herrera and is just my everyday like dog mum bag. Hopefully it's on Farfetch because I've got a Farfetch code at the moment. So you guys can go shopping. It's easier to show you in this mirror. This is my little get up today i've got a mixture of things in my hair right now i will link them all down below but i've got the ordinary density drops in the front and then i've got the rosemary oil throughout and i've just like brushed it all through the end outfit i'm not sure what shoes to wear i think i might even wear my fluffy slides guys i'm just oh can you see the light coming in it is just stunning weather like perfect for the plans we have today was the most overwhelming experience of my life i don't know what i was expecting going in there but it had everything like i'm talking food which i don't know how much i trust but food um decorations there was like furniture like proper furniture lights bedding that kind of thing like it is so big i was so overwhelmed i'm going to show you what i got but i think it's very disappointing like i had full intentions of going in there and completely decking out the house with autumn stuff but i think i was just too overwhelmed i need to go back to the drawing board think about it and then go back again i also got very distracted by their christmas section which was incredible and i started to like get oh my god where should i put you i'll put you here i started to get loads of stuff um to start decorating for christmas but then it just felt wrong like We've just dipped into September and you know I'm a Christmas fiend, I absolutely love it. But I think sometimes the specialty of Christmas is that it comes once a year and then you really don't have long to enjoy it. So autumn, I love the oranges and the reds and I really wanted to make the most of that before I do a big like Christmas shop. But I just got overwhelmed so I'm going to show you what I got. Honestly it's really not that great um, but I will also go to HomeSense to have a look at their like beddings and duvets and pillows and stuff. But candle wise this is what I've picked up okay firstly got the pup some stuff because he's teething at the moment and he loves these dent sticks and then i also got him some low fat treats because he's putting on weight quite rapidly so in terms of wax melts i got these these smell incredible this one is called crackling campfire and it literally smells like the woodlands cozy campfire absolutely love it then i got this one which is toffee apple smelt really sweet and delicious very boring purchase but got a fabulosa glass cleaner i didn't know that they did a electrify edition you guys know i love that scent so i picked that up um i got some glow white never tried it before but i'm a little bit obsessed with making sure that all my socks and underwear are super super white so but i try something different because the stuff i'm using isn't great at the moment i also got this diffuser 
um, and this is the cinnamon and what is this one orange and star apple and it just smells incredible and i feel like i can use it through to christmas as well then i got the wax melt like little holder some more stuff for the dog jumped in the shower and started to do my hair because the morning was very quickly running away with me and I've got so much that I want to try and get done today. I'm just putting some makeup on. Don't know why but unless I have makeup on while I'm doing my errands I get like so drained easily. Like is that a thing or is it just all in my head? I don't know but I'm trying a new technique with the Dyson today. Whilst I was on holiday it was the best thing for my hair. Like my hair has never looked so good. I've come home and it's just not working like the usual products that i'll use with blow dries and straighteners or curlers they work like across the board and they're fine just suddenly aren't working with the dyson in my hair like i don't know what it is i think maybe my hair's a different texture now that i'm in the uk like it's not as humid here but if anything it should be the other way around so i'm quite confused spent the evening on tiktok last night and this is what we've resulted in so let's see if it's worked i've just pin curled my curls to let them dry. I'm just using some blush. This is my obsession. I literally, I've hit pan. And take these out and we'll see what's going on. The size that I wear of the set is drying. It's still like soaking wet and I don't really have time to wait for it to dry. And then I'm just wearing some basic Lulus because yeah, they're still soaking wet. I mean, I did only wash them this morning, um, which doesn't help, but okay, let's take out these. She done my hair this way with the Dyson so I'm so intrigued to see if it works or not oh my god the curls have actually held oh oh my god I'm scared to brush them out in case they don't look as nice maybe if I shake it okay so it's been about 20 minutes since I did my hair and usually oh my goodness look at this side stop it usually the curls are completely gone at this point they are completely gone. The fact that they're still, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to brush this side out at least, is wild. Oh. <laughs> Just so that my root isn't like all separated. I don't mind if the curls are quite big. This dog is trying to eat my hair. How does that look? Oh, whoa, it's very 70s. Um, also, I really didn't think through the height of this when I asked it to be hung. Those have definitely stayed, which is a good thing. I just wish that I'd done them higher up my head, but we live and we learn. If this is the first sign of the curl staying in the UK, then if the house I have to document this, I went out for two seconds. Two seconds to take the bins. Gone. Is UK girls that are struggling with the Dyson? Because if it is, I think I've got the answer. It's our weather. Okay. Okay. Parked. I'm coming live from London. Oh, I need a plate. No, I can't have a plate. With new hair. I had my hair dyed yesterday, which I'll show you more later on. I'm not fully awake yet. I can't even like move my face, but I've got really, really, really quickly because I have the busiest couple days here. Um, those of you who don't know, because there was a little bit of confusion the last time I mentioned this, I live in the Midlands now. However, I kept my flat in London. Um, and I come back here to work every couple weeks. It's usually extremely back to back when I get here because I obviously used to live here full time and this is like one of the fashion capitals of the world. So <clears throat> that sounded so at the top. A lot happens here, like a lot goes on, especially this time of year. So um, when I do come back now, everything I would do day to day is smushed into two or three days. So to give you a brief rundown, I'm literally just like, buttering a croissant to take in the car because oh my god is this off oh, oh my god i just put off butter on my no oh no yes yeah, so i only have a couple best before the 50 oh, oh my god what is going on in this joint i have a fitting with hugo boss 
because I've become an ambassador for them recently, which is really fun. And I absolutely love their clothes. Like it's actually a joke. Me going into that store and having to pick just one outfit. It's just like to die for in there. I will show you the new store that's actually in Bond Street. It's massive. Like I've never seen a, a boss store that big. So um, I will show you that. And then straight afterwards, I've got a lunch meeting. I then have to shoot Bash Paris. And then I have a like cocktails evening with summer Fridays. Uh, mm, I need to run into my car now. But I'm going to quickly show you my outfit. You can see it a lot better in this light. I've gone for like a caramelly light brown kind of shade. This is my outfit because the lighting's better in here. These shorts are like an autumnal dream. So is this bag actually. I really like this outfit. And then the boots. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you today because like I said, it's so back to back. But hopefully I can show you little snippets. I really want to show you the store. So let's... Start day two in London. This is the worst angle ever, but I'm gonna quickly fill you in. I've just I had a fitting this morning, I had a little lunch meeting, I had the most stunning lunch ever, and now I'm about to start shooting um something underneath this that I'm not allowed to show you yet. I just asked them if I could film my shooting again. Um this stuff isn't out yet. So I've been told, do not show this before next week. I'm being very cautious that I don't show anything, um, which means I also can't show shooting because it will show everything. That's quite a good match. How does it look in person? So if you look into the light, it's just like really sheer, it's gorgeous. Also it has a little bit of like kind of an acid, so it's really good. Yeah. Okay, so my outfit, I'm actually trying to decide if I want to tuck it in. Or not so maybe you can help me it's just like one of my faves it's by skims but i want to maybe tuck it in i'm wearing my lovely pants again because they are just the comfiest things and i'm just gonna put like my dior converse on and then just be really comfortable very casual little outfit i don't know everyone i'm gonna see now definitely will not want to be on camera um so yeah i think i will end the vlog here but i'll definitely see you in my next video and i promise not to leave it as long